Okay, today we are going to review a J Flight Jayco 28 foot uh, camper. I'll give you the model number in a minute. All right, so we got the Jayco. Notice it has a very large awning. It is a uh, electric awning. This is the 28 BHBE J Flight model. And uh, it does have a rear entry door to a bathroom, so you don't have to go in and out uh, through the entire coach to get to the bathroom, which the older we get, the more important that is. This uh, awning does have the speakers integrated into it which makes it nice um, and of course we see they do have outside outlets etc on this side of the coach under the awning there are three steps it makes it, it makes it very convenient to get in and out and they are stabilized uh, especially for me with that broken foot there or uh, broken knee all right so we're going to come into the coach and what we notice first to my right is a separate bedroom with a queen bed and it is a north-south bed so there is access to get all the way around the bed and get in and out from either side really important and there is storage space up above in the Jayco on this side of the wall we see the main living area and we notice uh, immediately the size of the slide which holds a dinette that converts down to sleeping area and also has a little couch that jackknifes down into another sleeping area so an awful lot of room for entertaining uh, as we swing around we see Miss Audrey this uh, Miss Audrey and her husband own this uh, on this side we have uh, cabinetry is that a microwave or a microwave mm -hmm. convection microwave and uh, this unit also has the uh, the, the Dometic oven three burner oven with uh, a three burner stove with the oven uh, so we really like that feature and it is a very deep sink uh, and some good prep area lots of storage in the cabinets and of course there is a, uh, a nozzle that can pull out and help you clean those pots and pans after uh, cooking. So that's helpful. The refrigerator is a Norcold. Now it's either Norcold or Dometic in most of the RVs that we see. Um, and someone, uh, I know um, Wandering Wagners prefer Norcold, although their Airstream has Dometic. Um, but this one is also a two-way, so it'll run off of 110 volt or gas. So if they are boondocking, they can keep stuff cold. Lots of storage here. The bathroom is in the corner. And as we had said before, you can access it from outside. So if we forget to shut that door, you could give the neighbors a show. So you might want to remember that. This is probably the largest shower I have ever seen in an RV. You can put two or three people in there for a fun time. And there is a foot flush toilet in here. So this is a rather nice bathroom. And the unique feature about this, the BH standing for bunkhouse. And we see that these bunks are, are larger than a single. They really are double bunks. So you can sleep two on the top and two on the bottom or one on the bottom and buddy the dog depending <laughs> on how the situation goes and there is an integrated ladder built in that can pull out of there uh, to help assist in getting to the second floor so there is an awful lot of room in this and as we look forward an interesting feature we see a flat screen tv versus mirror that spins so you can turn it you can see me in there now so if we turn that back we can see uh, you know, the folks in the in the main cabin can be watching TV, and then in the evening, when uh, 
they retire to the master suite, they can spin out around and watch their favorite YouTube videos from bikes, boats, and bivouac. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at the outside of the unit. Okay, so the main camping site has a really nice awning on it and they have it set up with their camping carpet. We'll do a walk around so you can see the unit. This is the Jayco. They do have the electric tongue on there and it looks like they have uh, two tanks of propane and one battery. Uh, here is a storage unit where they keep their hitch and some other storage. It's passed through, goes all the way through. This J Flight has nice access. They do have an awning over the slide to keep the uh, grass and stuff and uh, leaves and twigs out from uh, in there when they close the slide. And this one does have Goodyear tires. Jayco puts Goodyears on most of their units. We are tight to the back here. There is storage and uh, stabilizers. And we see there is a ladder up to the roof. So there's the walkable roof. So that is the Jayco 28 BHBE, a really nice family unit, two, four, six, could probably sleep 10 to 12 people in this camper.